So in this video I will show you how you set cookies inside Flask using Python. Right now I just have a simple Python project setup where we only have a front page and a index.html page. But the first thing we will do is to go to our import line and say we want to make response. We want to include that to our project. And actually just so you know, you can go and get all this code from my blog. I will link it in the description so you don't have to type everything, but I will just explain to you how it works in this video. So first of all, we're going to create a new route where we say that it's to set the cookie. And of course, inside this route, we want to define a method that is going to be executed. In this case, I'll just call it set cookie. And then we want to go and use our make response. So we can use that to say that we want to set cookie. Or actually, this is just the message. This is the response message that you will return to say that the cookie is now set. But then when we have our object, our response object now, we can go and set the actual cookie. So we're going to say response dot set cookie. And then we want to set the cookie name and the value of the cookie. And then finally, we just want to return the response so that we get the message cookie set. So we can actually go and test this now. So we run the application. And now you can see because we don't have any HTML inside our web page, so it's just a blank page. But I am inside our local host with the port of 5000. And just to show you that it works, I will open my check my cookie extension here in Chrome. In here, I can see all the cookies that is set for my local host. So you don't have to worry about all the cookies that is already set. That is just from other projects. But we can see now in our cookie name that we don't have a cookie that is called cookie underscore names, which is the cookie that is going to be set when we call the URL. So let's go and try to execute this where we say slash set cookie. And now you can see we get the message where it says cookie set. And if we go inside our extension again, it should have and have right here the at the local host. We have a cookie underscore name with the cookie underscore value. So next up, let's try to see how we delete it again. So let's go back to our code. And right now I just copy and pasted the whole delete cookie section because it's almost the same code that we're going to use. So there's really no new things. We have the make response where we're going to say cookie is deleted. So this is the text we get in return. And then instead of up here where we say set cookie, we're now going to say delete cookie. And in this case, we only need the cookie name. So no value. And that makes sense because we just want to target the cookie at the cookie name and say that this should be deleted. So let's save this. And I think it's already updated on the website. So let's go and say delete underscore cookie. And now you can see it says cookie deleted. So if we go into our cookies again, you can see that it's gone. You can also go to my blog where I have, have a code example on how you set a button and some input values so that via a form you can create your own cookies on the fly. The only difference here is that we have a path where it says that we're going to enter a key and a value and then it will just set the key and value inside our response. And the way we do that in HTML is just that we have these two input fields and then a button so that we can go and place the key and the value inside the inputs and use the button to execute the URL. And that is actually going to be executed by a Ajax call that we're going to create in a JavaScript script, or in this case, it actually used jQuery to make it a little bit easier and more simple to call because it's just going to take the key from our key input and then the value from our value input. And finally, we make the request to our path with the key and a value. And we're just going to create it as a get method. So when this is set inside our function, then you have this console log that is going to be executed that will say that the cookie is set. You might not use this in a real world scenario, but it's just to play around with cookies and to get a better understanding of it. But please go and like the video and subscribe to my channel and else just have a nice day. Bye.